uh, have you seen that photo or, or the footage rather of the jaguar that they found in uh, arizona yeah yeah that's really interesting too right amazing that they're starting to make their way up from mexico it's such a weird region that because here's this huge sonoran desert that you think none of these tropical animals can make it across and for whatever reason southern arizona gets jaguars and cotamundi and peccary and all these like tropical animals yeah. What what the hell? I don't know the answer. What the hell's going on that all these rainforest creatures are making it through this thousand mile stretch of desert and into southern Arizona? Probably bored. <laughs> Could be looking for a cool <laughs> cool places to visit. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe they. I mean, maybe it's just like a natural instinct to roam and expand your territory. There he is. Yeah. Look at that God, thing. That's amazing. That's an incredible animal. So beautiful. And it's huge. Huge. They're they're two hundred plus pounds, mm-hmm. right? It's mm-hmm. a big, fucking aggressive cat. Mm-hmm. What, what's bigger, a jaguar or a leopard? Leopard, right? A uh, leopard, yeah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. that's even bigger. Mm-hmm. But it's a, such a beautiful animal, too. And apparently they were all over North America. Jaguars? At one point in time. Yeah, like the, uh, that area, like Texas like and During the Arizona. Pleistocene? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't even yeah. know that. But um, when did they, I mean, they, they were pushed out of, I, I feel like, that might not be true, though. I feel like they were they were more numerous in like Arizona and like the Southwest. Makes sense. I mean, you yeah. know, we had so much megafauna here back in the day. Um, there would have been a lot of prey for them. Now, because of the fact that you spend so much time in the wild, and you know, and that you have this uh, interest in these, uh, what would you call cryptozoology animals? Like well, I, I'm not a crypto guy, so just right. to be clear, and nothing against crypto guys, but I don't do Loch Ness or Bigfoot or anything. Right. I, I'm a true wildlife biologist, so I only focus on wildlife. So, not to interrupt you, but I'm just very, very structured in the sense that I really only look for animals that. We, we have an understanding of. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Well, the, the Bigfoot one is um, the, the most compelling, but also probably the most bullshit. I think there's a mix there. I think people believe that they've seen certain things. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's do I think that there could have been large primates that we attribute to Bigfoot? Sure. Whether they're sure. still here or not, whether people have ever seen them, I, I'm so, like, not well read on that. Isn't it interesting, though, that if there was one, it would probably be the most spectacular find ever. Absolutely. Like, but meanwhile, we have chimps and bonobos. Right. And, you know, we have all these things that are real. Well, because there's so much, like, lore and culture associated with it now. Yeah. Right? And not just, like, our Western culture, but, like, K- things of big, hairy creatures and, like, everything. Right. I mean, it would be, like, this mind-blowing discovery. Have you ever went and looked for the Bondo ape? No, I know what it is, but yeah. no, never gone and looked they're, for it. They're sure that's a real thing. Really? Yeah, they've got skulls and hair samples and mm-hmm. photographs and video. And for people who don't know what we're talking about, it's a gigantic chimpanzee. Right. Like a right. six-foot-tall chimpanzee, which and is it, just fucking nuts. And it does walk erect, yeah. right? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. There's a camera trap photo. There's a guy named Dr. Carl... Uh, no, he's not a doctor. I think his name is Carl Harmon. Carl, Carl, Carl something? Harmon. Harman is that Amon. Amon? Carl Amon. And he's a uh, was it a Swiss wildlife photographer? Anyway, he set up a bunch of camera traps and he got one he of got them one. walking. Amazing. And it's it's freaky. And there's some photos of um these gentlemen that shot one uh near an airstrip. Huh. And it's fucking huge. You yeah. don't know how big the, the, the men are. Right. You know, they might be small and sure. it's in front of them. But it is, without a doubt, like one of the biggest chimpanzees you've ever seen it's in insane. life. And it's insane, yeah. They have a crest on their head. Their skull has a crest like a gorilla. Huh. Yeah, it has like the, the bone of the skull. Has it like, kind of fuses yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Which, Do you have a picture of that? I'd love to see it. I'm yeah. not, not familiar with the anatomy of them. Yeah, it's, um, it's really interesting because I think for the longest time, they didn't think they were real. It's a part of that Michael Crichton book, Congo. Okay. It was, remember, there was a really terrible movie that I, was yeah, made? I, yeah, I know the look book as Look at the size well. of that fucker. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's one of them. And that's, think. that doesn't look like forced perspective. You know what I mean? No. It looks like they're right in front of them. And that's one from the early 1900s, I believe, mm-hmm. where these guys uh, shot one. And um, they were like, what is this? This is just giant chimp. Go d- see if you can find the one of the... There, right above is the one that, where it's walking right there. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the, the camera, camera trap. Wow. The, the thing walking. And he's erect. Yeah, he's erect and he's... You know, is he? These people that one of one of the sightings they saw one walk by a truck, like walk across a road. They said it was the same height as the truck. That's insane. So they have like you know like a Toyota Helix or something like <laughs> right. that, and yeah. it's literally the si- the height, like a six foot tall man, but a giant chimp. 
And, and I mean, you know, to go back to the Bigfoot thing, you can totally see where we get that from, right? Oh, for sure, You yeah. look at this huge primate that's the size of a human being, and your brain instantly goes, it's mythological. And I'm pretty sure that they didn't have photos of this thing until the 20th century, like the late 20th century. No kidding. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a trip, man. This They nest on the ground like, um, like gorillas. Like a gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. And uh, the locals have two different name for uh, two different names for chimps. They call them tree beaters and lion killers. Huh. And the tree beaters are the ones that are up in the trees, the smaller chimps. Sure. And the, the lion killers are these big ones that live on the ground. Yeah. And apparently, there's some either video footage or there was some eyewitness account of one of them eating uh, a leopard. No way. So it was a dead leopard that they were eating, whether or not they killed it or they found it, but they were eating this fucking thing. Regardless, like to be a primate at the top of the food chain eating a big cat. I mean, that's nuts. It's nuts. (laughs) <laughs> Would you ever think of going there and trying to find those things? Fuck yeah. They're deep in there. Great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they're in a place called Bili, Bili in the Congo. That's where they think they are. They've isolated a population of them there. Really? My mom yeah. just got back from the Congo and she still does like her own adventure stuff. And she was saying it's just like, she's been all over as well. She's like, it's mind blowing. Like there's so much remoteness and unstudied area that there could be all kinds of things. God damn, man. 